achieved with CryEngine. All right, so welcome everyone. Welcome to Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts. This is the latest offering in the Sniper Ghost Warrior franchise. It's a first person tactical shooter. I have all the DLCs that are available so far. And I'm going to attempt a blind playthrough from beginning to end. I've not even been in the game at all. So I'm going to start with the uh, beginning and hopefully get right to the end. All right, so let's get started. Greetings, mercenary. I represent a third party who wishes to make use of your specialist skills. We are aware of your usual fees and are comfortable meeting the cost. In fact, we have several contracts for you to execute. All are in the newly formed Siberian Republic. As you are aware, Siberia was once part of the Russian Federation, which used Siberia's huge natural resources to bolster Russian economic success. But Siberia did not gain from this relationship. In fact, it was merely exploited and used. A political movement was established. The people for an independent Siberia. Even the regional governor, Nergui Kurchatov, was swept up in the wave, joining the movement and cutting off Siberia from the Kremlin. The Siberian War of Independence followed. Russia's armies contained many Siberians and defections were rife. The war was over quickly. Kurchatov became Siberia's first prime minister, governing his new country with his family and friends. But, like many before them, Kurchatov and his allies hoarded this wealth, and ordinary Siberians were once again left wanting. Betrayed and angry, a militia form, calling themselves the Siberian Wolves, and they declared war against their government. They attacked oil fields and stole state assets. Their leader, Nastya Surikova, has now become a hero to the people, and Kurchatov's nemesis. Our proposal comes with one requirement. You will need to wear a new high-tech mask we supply. It will facilitate direct communication between us. But there are other benefits for you, including combat enhancements. My designation will be Handler. Yours will be Seeker. I look forward to working with you. Okay, so mission number one. Badge kit proving ground. Okay, so there's some lots. So, all oh, right, I see. Complete tutorial. Five thousand we get. So obviously we have to. We can spend money on upgrades. Things like that. Contract details. Yeah, just complete tutorial. Journal. Region map. Mask mode. Okay, all right. Load out. Primary weapon, tactical XCR 700. Secondary weapon, an AK A47. Side arm is IMP 443. So I've got the uh, DLC. We should have. Okay, so. Oh. SVM. Oh, okay, so these are part of the DLC. So you have those. Oh, that's good. Okay. So, oh, I see. We're comparing it to the equipped weapon. So it's rather like Sniper Elite then. Damage is way up. Noise reduction. Yeah, so it makes more noise. That's not a sound, so it's got either muzzle break or anti flash or sort of flash suppression. Let's take a quick look. Looks like it. Bolt action sniper rifle issued in small numbers to the Chinese army. Chinese army? It's a bit advanced for China, isn't it? So right click. Okay, so I set my camo up. So I've got the DLC with the camo as well. Okay, so it's like the rifles we still we already own them. 
Ooh wee. Arctic conditions with that. Let me stick a flare above my head and say, shoot me. That's uh, not going to work, is it? I'm going to leave it at standard. We're going to go straight into the... Uh, we'll have a look at that once we've finished the uh, tutorial. Set my camera up things like that. Obviously, it's just a tutorial. So how do we start? How do you actually start? Do you click on it? Oh, start a tutorial. Okay, start contract. Okay. Okay, so we've got marksman. Again, if we decrease enemies are less aware. Uh, no, I don't think so. Standard game difficulty. Enemies are aware of the player they see and hear. I don't know what the tutorial's about, so we could have be facing enemies. Oh dear. Enemies are much more aware of the player. They spot the player easily in the open and hear him from the greater from the greater distance. I mean greater distance. Enemies weapon damage is increased. Okay, let's go with this. Greetings, Seeker. You should have already received the mask. It is a highly advanced prototype that enhances your capacity in the field and syncs with your equipment. The mask allows you to upload contracts data to the client after each mission. Before we drop you in the designated location, we want to make sure you understand the tech we've given you. For this purpose, you'll be taken to a secure training facility hidden in a secluded mountain location. You're going to perform a series of simple tasks to familiarize yourself with the mask and for us to make the necessary adjustments. Report back when you're at the location, Seeker. Ready for action. There's a training weapon nearby. Gear up. Okay, so we've got... It's like an old church or something. Nice looking. Okay, let's pick up the rifle. E to pick up. Well, oh, hold D. Approach sniping the spot with prepared weapon. Take a prone position. Okay, so pressing C activates crouch stance. We must stealthy hold C to enter prone stance. So, one tap. Okay. So, one tap. Another tap. You strain. Yeah, I see. So, you stand up and hold it. First, switch your mask to binocular mode. Okay, be fair to the edge. Tap T. Now, try to mark the target over there. Tagging enemies allows you to measure the distance to selected targets and keep track of them. Alternatively, you can use our new dynamic reticle system to measure your target's distance. One seventeen meters. Do you have a zone? Oh, we've got the zone as well. This should be on toggle. Compare target's height to DRS display in the upper left corner of your scope. It should tell you how far away the target is. This system scales up the display according to your current zoom stage. I believe I don't have to remind you to hold your breath to stabilize your stance. Now, shoot this target. Aim for the head. Okay, so shoot the target. Hundred meters away. 
so we should be about there. Okay. Proceed to the next one. Next one. Okay, so depending on what distance you have, you have the horizontal lines there, 100, 300. Going down on the right hand side, display the lower part. Oh, I'm not going to shoot the rest of these then, so it's another one over here. Okay. Let's try a greater distance. Notice your mask's input on distance and wind. It will help you aim. So that's 151 meters. Check the distance and wind direction. Aim for a headshot. So at top of the end, yet, yeah, so we've got an arrow 8 meters per second coming across. The drop display there. Like an animated uh, sort of, it's like someone throwing something. It drops down the left hand side, the vertical, reticle, the lower part. It's 151. So about the. Uh, Yes, uh, yeah, 300. Yeah, I can see that. I've got it too high. It's about there. No! It says 151. Oh, 300, isn't it? Oh, good grief. I was in it between, yeah, that's fine. Scope calibrated according to the target's distance. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 280. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the range. So wait, it's 278. Q and E. 100 meters? Oh, wow. Oh, I see. So it modifies the display. 280. No. Not far off though. So I take it the wind modifies those horizontal points. So I am for about there. Oh, nearly. Oh, there we go. Practice makes perfect. Feel free to refill your ammo if you're empty. Of course, you don't get many uh, chances. So I've got some ammunition. Obviously, once you fire, they know you're there. And it's only a suppressor. No, there's no such thing as a silenced weapon, really. Okay, so I'll take my pick of the rest of them. Yeah, I know. Moving target. It's 217. It's a 220 and then just slightly... Oh, that was hit! I hit that one, I hit that the first time, that. It's a bit of a... Two more to go. 
Hmm. John Featherworth. Three, five, six. Anything further away than. Oh, yeah, we've got those. Oh, nearly 400 metres. Oh, headshot. That was good. Man. Same distance as before. Obviously, it's going away slightly. Now, a little bit too late. Oh, yes. I've unlocked the gateway to the training grounds. The shooting range beyond is at your disposal if you want to practice before your first contract. Well, Our know. training <laughs> facility will always be available for you should you want to polish your skills in between missions. Whoa. I didn't look down, did I? My God. It's a bit of a drop. It's good, that. I think I might have to come back here a few times though before we can actually complete any of the uh, missions maybe? I don't know. That's all you can carry. Okay. On to the next part. Special bullets. Okay, so press the, yeah, so that's the mouse wheel. Display weapon wheel. There you can switch weapons and check the amount of ammo and gadgets. Ammo types. Tagging, tagging bullets. Tagging me two obstacles. Really? Luring bullets make enemies investigate the place Dave hit. Ammo piercing bullets. Yeah, obviously. DARPA bullets automatically adjust their trajectory to ignore weather and elevation. What? Really? Smart bullets. Explosive bullets explode on contact. EMP bullets dissolve electronic damage. Out that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what to try first? How about AP rounds? So I'll take this rifle. We've got one with us already, but it's the same one we've got. I'm a piercing. One five four. So we're just supposed to hit it. This isn't actually telling us anything. Okay, press Z to select arm piercing. So that's AP bullets loaded in. Family is a second crosswind from left to right. Use heavy bullets and armor piercing bullets to penetrate objects. Compare pit, pierce, pierce, pit, pier, what? Pier capillary. Of different material. Okay. Bring this down, obviously. It's about 150, so it's between the reticle and 200. Test other special bullets. Explosive bullets. Let's see what this does. Oh, 
Whoa. <laughs> oh my word. Bloody hell. Really? Oh, that's enough of those. So that's like expl explosive and armor piercing. EMP and DARPA. EMP. What are these over here? Well, let's, let's complete it. We'll do a bad book. Press Z and select EMP bullets. Use EMP bullets to act deactivate electronic devices. So it's just like the EMP grenades. What's the distance? Well, we've got a fuse box there. It's got a green flashing light on it by looking at it. So I wonder if... 204 metres. I wonder if hitting that with the EMP or a standard bullet would actually take out the electronics. There's only one way to find out. It is 200 metres. So it's about there. Yes! Oh, is that just a blast? Yeah, I think it was just a blast zone of the EMP grenade deck, but not a bullet. Didn't take this one out. So only if I use a standard bullet to take out the fuse box. Would that turn this camera off? Let's tend it. Let's test that. Let's test the theory, shall we? Mm, no. And I believe flashing red means it's alerted anyway. So obviously that doesn't work. What's that made of? Is it bulletproof or something? <laughs> See what DARP around does. So these are smart bullets. They'll always hit the target. Well, within reason, obviously. Oh, well. So you've got lots of different options. But of course, we, don't, we only have the standard ammunition right now available to us in the mission. Unless we uh, get access to uh, these sorts of bullets before we start the first one. I don't think we will do. Okay, so what tagging and luring bullets? Just ten rounds and no spares. So I've got luring. So I take it we've got to try and get him to move. Two hundred meters again. Luring bullet. I love the animations, the guns, and everything. It's first class. So it's about between. Wait a minute. Didn't I just put that to two hundred? Ah. 
So I've got tagging rounds, but nothing shown up for tagging. For some reason, you seem to pick up both types. Uh, so you got to go back and... No, not luring. Well, good grief. I've done the wrong one again. Oh, it's easy enough. That's tagging your pillock. You're wrong one. Don't want to do that in the field. I won't be very good at all. Alright, so I'm going to grab the tagging bullets. There we go. Tagging bullets. Switch to tagging bullets now. My god, there's a bit of a drop here, isn't there? I'll stay in this crouch position for now. Switch back. Doesn't seem to be triggering the uh, tutorial section. Will this? No. Oh, we'll trigger them anyway. So they're about uh, slightly less on distance, aren't they? About 250 meters. So we'll play it by ear. Spot on. It takes a while for you to switch bullets though. As well as that's what the fast mags are about. That was spot on that. And so was that. And that. Oops, oh breath. I think that's it for the special bullets, isn't it? No, obviously not. Tagging. That's why I tag both targets, obviously. That's probably why you can't shoot them. I have no idea what he's talking about. No, what's he want me to do now? So he's still luring round. Let's try and get him to move over here. So I can shoot him in the head maybe? I don't know. Nope, obviously not. Oh my god. Shoot a little bit in bug, maybe. Well, I've tagged them. 
We'll tag it through there. Okay, I think I'll grab an armor piercing round. Not that. Heavy sniper rifle bonnet. Well, I've already done this. Oh, I've got one target left. I should have taken it down. Oh, damn it. Okay, so if it potentially with target showing the tutorial, just kill them all. One fifty-five. We'll take them all out. That piece what I was looking at, what I was seeing through this uh, sheet. Okay, so what do we have? Alright, so it's about 154. I'll be up to 200 and then between the two reticles. Vertical reticles. Oh, well, obviously, that sort of went over the uh, over the top of the obstacle, and so did that. I'm too damn good. There we go. That went through the. This one should as well. There we go. Out of rounds. We'll switch to explosive. I oh, know it says um, heavy. Heavy sniper round, didn't it? Didn't even mention the explosive ones. There we go. That is that. Yep, they're all down. Ah, it's all clear now. So now what? I haven't tried this, have I? Pick up turret. Hold, yep. Okay. Press F to place the turret. Press T and switch to your mask to binocular mode. H tags targets remote to it. Let's tag all of the mask first. H. Oh, look at that. Oh. G to fire. Oh. So you got to tag them. H. Is that up to three? No, two. So one's greyed out. Oh, look at that. It's only if you can upgrade the uh, the fire control system for the turret and it can lock onto three tags. There's one grayed out there on the right hand side of the other two that are lit up now. Yeah, it's it's done. Why is it still lit up like that? Why is it still lit up? It's 
There's nothing else left. It's weird. I've also got to complete the uh, tutorial, otherwise we can't advance. I've done them all. Oh, now it's cleared. That's some very strange behaviour. Although it is preferable for you to complete contracts discreetly, close combat is sometimes necessary. Yeah, the tutor is rather lacking in the instructions. And there's something wrong with that section as well. It's got pistol. We've got grenades, frag grenades, sewing knives. F2 select you selected gadget. So where's a reticle? Oh, I see. Let's hold the key down. Ooh, that is nasty. I only got shot in the head as well as stabbed. Course. I don't understand what I haven't got the. Oh, it is deployed, isn't it? The, yeah, so it is deployed. <laughs> I didn't pick it up the second time. So to kill all these. Ah, oh, should be pretty easy. So that's fifty-one meters away. I've got two above there in the sandbags. Behind the sandbags. Slightly further, yeah, 59 meters. So, elves in between. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Oh. Well, oh, see, it's not going to clear the target because I'm not allowed to use the turret. It's got to be close quarters. What's that for close quarters? Can't see too well. Oh, let's try some grenades. Yeah, quite low muzzle velocity for range. I can imagine the knives can be quite dangerous up close. We've got to get quite close to the way they imagine. Okay, so what do we have? We've got a grenade. See how last one. Just those two up there. Uh, rifle. 
Okay. So I've actually rescued on anything. No. Oh, you can't hold your breath while using a rifle then. The actual combat rifle. Oh, it's a bit of a sway, isn't it? A bit of a sway. got a reticle on this one. That's a bit strange. So we've got the exit. Where is it? Oh, there. Is that it? Don't actually know. Tap the MK and we'll figure it out. Complete. Oh, it's lit up. 5,000. Oh, I must have completed it. Oh, okay. What is that? Is that supposed to be that? Exfiltration? Mm, there's nothing else like it, so. So that's that. So you only carry a single weapon. So we've got accessories, right click, on, off. No, 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 I don't want that. Because we've got no accessories attached to any of it. About 50 metres, wasn't they? Oh, headshot. Now, with a sniper rifle at 50 metres, you're not expecting to do anything else. Right between the eyes. Okay, so that's it, I think. Can we actually put these guns down? Can we actually sort of just drop? Let's look at the controls, see if there's any way of actually sort of holstering these weapons. Doesn't look like there is. Okay, so that's the tutorial done. 